Hello and welcome to the Fun Going Fast channel and in today's video I'm going to be a little bit of a downer and talk to you about five reasons you may not want to buy a first generation Yamaha YFC 450. Not the R, the very first gen. So let's get into it. Reason number one, you're missing out on some of the newer technology that's fairly significant that was added when the 450R came out. The R is fuel injected so there's no carburetor, no worries about cold starting or issues with jetting based on elevation changes. It's a completely different motor with more horsepower. It has a slipper clutch which is the best clutch in the business and it has an upgraded frame and suspension. Reason number two, you're going to have to spend a lot more money and do more work if you want to modify the 450 and get more horsepower. You'll get a slight bump with opening up the airbox and a performance exhaust but that's about it unless you want to go into the engine and do major modifications. Whereas with the R, it's EFI with a computer, so you have much more tuning potential to get more power out of it with less money and effort, including throwing on the big three, exhaust, fuel, and engine controller, and you get a pretty good jump in horsepower. Reason number three, these are designed from the factory to be high revving, and odds are they were not well cared for, which is not a good combination. But even with a well-maintained machine, you're buying something that's been ran hard and super high revving for 15 to 20 years. When buying something that's almost 20 years old, you have no idea of the service history typically, and it's probably not been properly maintained for the past 15 to 20 years of its life. The more times these things switch owners, the less they tend to be cared for, is what I've learned, to the point that the one that I just bought had a welded on chain and a grab bar that had been custom made so that it would hold a case of beer. When buying a machine this old, it's probably still got the factory suspension, which is going to be fairly worn out at this point. Reason number four, they're still not that cheap. A nice condition first gen is going to be anywhere between four and $5,000. And for those prices, if you pay attention, you can usually find a much more recent model 450R that someone doesn't want anymore. It'll have all that newer technology and be 10 years newer with much less time on it to have been abused. And reason number five, Repairs and neglected maintenance can add up very fast, and you can easily be over the cost of what that newer model could be. So you pick one up for $3,500, you get a pretty good deal. Even doing all your own labor and buying cheap parts on Amazon and eBay, you can still be over $1,000 extra into it, fixing neglected issues like the tires, brakes, oil and filter, new A-arm bushings, and fixing out stripped bolts. Take it to a shop and maybe it needs something a little more significant like a new top end and now you're into it well over $2,000 with parts and $100 an hour labor. Quickly you're at $5,500 and at that price you could find a 2020 model that's in really good shape from someone that's not riding. So these are great machines, they're a blast to ride and I actually like them better than a 450R for trail riding. But I want you to make an informed decision and be aware if you're looking at one of these machines Unless you know the person who's owned it and kept it perfectly maintained for years, when making that purchase, be prepared to put some money into it. All things to consider. Thanks for watching.